Also tonight, a man accused of assaulting a police officer will stay in jail. And we're hearing from the suspect's fiance about the chain of events. Stephen Maggard is in jail following last week's incident on Hawk Avenue near Lynn Haven Parkway and Holland Road. Maggard's accused of shooting out his back door while his family was barricaded inside their home. Then on your side, investigative reporter Julie Malay has exclusive reporting on how this all played out. Julie. Maggard's fiance was in court today pleading for his release before the judge denied his bond. She says Maggard has serious mental health issues that need to be addressed and that he never meant to hurt anyone. Cell phone video shows a scary standoff situation as dozens of police officers swarmed a home on Hawk Avenue. Get outside. Let me get my kids. The voice you hear in this video is Brandis Parker, Stephen Maggard's fiance, begging him to end the situation peacefully. Last Wednesday, police responded to Maggard's home after he first allegedly waved a gun around, then barricaded himself inside with his children, mother, and brother. He didn't want to hurt any of us. He never held anyone hostage. Parker says Maggard is a good father who suffers from mental health issues. Since she's visited him in jail, he's told her how sorry he is for what happened. That he loves us very much and that he wished that he could have got the help sooner than we realized, you know. I just was like, I can't believe this is happening. Chris Crowder lives in the home next door and says Maggard shot right into his bedroom window. Crowder says he watched in fear as he saw police swarm the house, guns drawn. It was like 10 lasers in that window. Crowder then got down on the ground, afraid another shot might come through his window. If it had been something real, it had been closer, it could have been tragic. Because I realized he just shot and I was just right there. Maggard was then calmly taken into custody, though police say he did assault an officer in the back of an ambulance. We did request a jailhouse interview today with Maggard. He denied that request. He is facing several gun charges as well as the assault charge. He's due back in court next month. In the newsroom, I'm Julie Millay, 10 on your side.